All right, back into Sandrock demo. I um, completed the demo on another save and I can't believe how much stuff I missed. So we're going to run around a little bit after our stamina. Oh, our stamina is gone. I forgot where I left off. There are tons of boxes that I didn't know about. <laughs> so I'm going to try to gather up some of those. I did grab quite a few, but there are boxes on these roofs that I didn't know about. Here's one right here. So we'll grab that one. Then we have to go up. And when I look down, I should see a couple more that I didn't realize were there. Oh, and there's one in one beside the church. There was one beside the church. I got these two. But there was, uh, but I'm not sure I got this one up here. Nope, there it is. Yeah, I, you know, of course, not recording. I had lots of time to leisurely just meander around and not pay attention to the um, the missions or or anything like that. And uh, oh, I gotta get. No, I have an hour. And I, uh, yeah, I found so much stuff. I found a couple of more people that I hadn't met. I found. Um, okay, we got all of these. I think they're down at that level over there. Just more stuff to do that, that <laughs> I had missed out on. There was one in the sign for the saloon I think I still need to get. So we'll head towards the um, meeting. But I think there's another one. Okay, no, that was the one that was in the, above the saloon. Where is it? Anyway, tons of boxes all over town that I did not get the first time. Um, yeah, so I've played this a couple times now. So I do know the characters a little better. And I... Um, have some different goals than I originally started playing with. So here we are being introduced. Simmer down now y'all. As many of y'all know, our resident builder Mason, who has been a hardworking member of our community for many years, will be leaving our flock to seek, shall we say, greener pastures. But today's meeting is not about goodbyes. There'll be plenty of time for that at Mason's retirement party. No, today is a celebration of hellos. Let's give it up for our new builders, Mian and Lovey. Thanks everyone. Very excited to be starting here. I'm going to do my very best to bring Telesis to Sandrock. Lovey, care to say a few words? I want to be a great builder. Well said, Builder. Couldn't have put it better myself. Everyone, let's be patient with our new builders while they learn the ropes. And builders, don't hesitate to ask any of us for help. We won't be hesitating in putting you all to work. Thank you, Commissioner Yan. One more time, a big Sandrock welcome for our new builders. We have some omelets courtesy of none other than our very own Owen. Get them while they're still hot. Meeting adjourned. Oh, and remember, conserve water. All right, so we got an omelet in our inventory. Unfortunately, the food that you receive during the demo is useless because it's um, for health. And so far, I haven't taken any damage from anything, not even the hot chicks. So you can't just eat the food like in... Um, my time at Portia, you could just eat the food and you would get some kind of, you know, boost. But this specifically only boosts health. 
it, and every time I would try to eat something, it would say that your health is at 100%. So the food is actually pretty useless. <laughs> You know, they don't give you any food for... Well, he did give you at the beginning. Those samples were um, for stamina. But the rest of the food you get, useless. Like, I just picked up another omelet from that. But I need to meet Grace. We haven't met. Student cook at the Blue Moon Saloon. Newcomer, eh? That's good. We need all the help we can get. I'm Grace. Stop by for a meal at the saloon sometime. I'll do my best to make something edible. She has a reputation for not being a good cook. I heard half of the omelets at the fireside found their way off the plate this time. I think my skills are improving. The secret ingredient is sand. <laughs> yeah, that's why people don't like your uh, your cooking girlfriend. You are just a little bit too uh, creative with your recipes. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. So, um, people actually complain about it a little later on. All right, so that was another chest I have forgotten to get. The other thing I realized is spend what you've got. I mean, it is a demo. You don't have to hold on to your money like, you know, I, I tend to do. Um, because you don't really have time to develop skills for like upgrades and um so if you if there's something you need like i need this sharpening stone i'm gonna have to just have to buy it i need uh bronze bars i'm just gonna have to buy them because there's no way for me to actually make them for myself so i think i only need two bronze bars and then as soon as i can i have to get that sharpening stone because that's the only way that i can upgrade my tool I can't do it on my own. Um, I don't have the resources available and you don't get them. You don't get those resources during the demo. So I learned that. And there's also a box in here. Did I get this one already? I must have gotten this one. Oh no, I didn't. Here it is. All right, there's another box in there. And that one had copper bars. So that was a worthwhile box to get. The other thing I learned is you want to be very targeted in what you are grabbing. For instance, you don't want to grab a bunch of the mushrooms, the oregano, the leeks. You can't use any of that stuff. You can't use it yet. That's going to be late later in the game, I guess, but it's useless in the demo. So don't fill up your storage spaces with it. Don't waste your stamina picking it up it's you can't do anything with it you want to go after your stone your wood your fibers um that's what you need that is what you need so i ended up selling stuff like i would sell the omelets you know i sold the food i sold the stuff that wasn't going to do me any good just taking up inventory space. So I'm learning. Then um, the small things you can harvest. You can't cut a big cactus, but you can cut the little cactus balls. You can't cut a tree, but you can cut the sand bushes. And that's where you get your wood. And wood is one of the things that's harder to get. Those sand leaks are useless. You can't eat them. I thought they were going to be like a regen. But, um, yeah. They were just another... They were just another thing that used up um, stamina and space in my storage. Alright, and it's time to go to bed. We don't want dark circles under our eyes in the morning. So let's hit it. It's almost midnight. We'll wake up with full stamina and I will um, check my sleeping early before 2400 will ensure you always wake up fully rested and they are serious about that <laughs> and I I don't like that I'll be perfectly honest I don't like that at all I don't think you should be forced to go to bed at a certain time 
If I wanted to stay up to three, I should be able to stay up to three. Hello, Builder. So nice to see you again. As per the minister's instructions, I have come with a gift. Water, to be more specific. The most precious gift of all. In San Juan, Martel's Oasis, pretty much our only reliable source of water. We also get some water from other city states, but it's expensive. So we need to be really careful and smart about how we divvy it out. Might have bring your attention to the humble little fence propped up around the oasis. It's the town's friendly way of saying, don't take water out of the oasis all willy-nilly, or cut down the trees for that matter. If you're short on water in your workshop, might I recommend checking the plants around your workshop for fresh morning dew, or just come on down to the water tower overlooking the oasis. I'm pretty sure builder machines won't run without water in their water tanks, so I guess that means we'll be seeing a lot of each other in the future. Well, I won't take any more of your time. See you at the water tower, new pal. Okay, Burgess. Okay, Burgess. So, this is still like tutorial. <laughs> this is still like tutorial stuff. I'll go ahead and uh, put both of the ones he gave me in. Alright, because I do have machines going. So, these machines won't run without water. Which is just really strange to me that it would be water. <laughs> We're going to add some more... Um, I, um, dregs they call it it's like debris but okay what was I working on doesn't matter stone is what I have to do I don't have anything else I don't have any other scraps I gotta get some more scraps um had I mentioned this in my my time to Porsche my time in Porsche thing but um I had noted that the graphic they use for sand. Okay, so, and then Owen wants me to drop by for a free meal, but it doesn't um, replenish my stamina. I went and spent all that time with him, letting him blather on, thinking that the meal I was about to eat <laughs> would replenish my stamina. I even waited till all my stamina was gone after I had done all my gathering that day. It didn't. It did replenish my stamina. So. Owen can wait. Oh, so anyway, what I was going to say was I noticed that um, they used the same graphic for um, Danny's that they used for um, sand in my time at Portia. And then I was looking at the word, and if you take out the I, it's sand spelled backwards. So, you know, they just put an I between the N and the D and made it a word. But basically, it's sand spelled backwards. So that's why it's the same graphic. It is sand. <laughs> very clever developers. Very clever. Recycling. They recycle everything in this game. They even recycled the word sand. Good for you guys. That was pretty cute. Okay, so this is going to help me. I'm getting dew. It's another reason why you want to do the smaller um, grasses and stuff. You get dew, which 10 dews equal a single water. So, come on girl, turn the right direction please. Thank you. Stamina just does not last long in this game. Just get started gathering. And your stamina's gone. Because I have a lousy tool for one thing. Really need a better tool. But you gotta have your resources as well. No getting around it. We must gather. Yeah, oregano, no. You can sell it. I'm not saying you, you know, it's useless. You can sell the oregano. You can sell, you know... That's what I intend on doing. I intend on selling everything I'm not going to use, including the omelets. You don't get much for them, but at least it's not taking up space in your inventory. Let's go see what we can steal from Yan on our way over to the general store to sell the omelets. 
And so far, I think the general store is the only place I've been selling anything to. I'm not sure what other shopkeepers buy. Okay, Yan is on to me. He didn't leave anything out today. No beef jerky. No bars on the furnace. Okay, RVO. You want some omelets? How much can I get for these omelets? Uh, let's see. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. And then some of the scraps that I picked up, I haven't been able to put them to use. But you have to have a certain amount of those scraps before you can sell them. And I don't need the worms. I'm not going to go fishing. All right. And um, when you do get the fit, because when you get the fishing um, quest, he gives you bait. <laughs> so you might as well sell the ones you gather because he actually gives you some bait oh the market is down today oh that means that six hundred dollar um i need to get a commission or something done because that means that six hundred dollar sharpening blade that i need to upgrade my tool is going to be cheaper today let's see can we find a commission on the commission board Good morning jasmine let's see if there's something we can do hopefully the uh trough one or the brick one is up here because I can do both of those I have a furnace now and I have raw resources uh, glass how many of these nine that's ridiculous I can't do nine of those I have one of these already but there's no telling when I'll make oh, can't take that I think glass is the only thing I can take and still that's going to take a long time and a lot of that sand. Bummer. Oh, I should have taken this one. Oh, I should have taken that one. Dang it. I hope Mian doesn't take that one. Let me go see what I can do about this glass. If I wasn't recording, I would reset. Hugo is the person I want to buy the um, item from that I need for my upgrade. And I think if I, I could have sold him one of the ones I already have made and just make another one. Okay, so we need glass. Seven. Craft. That's going to take... Oh, that's not too long. Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. That's eight hours. Brother. Oh well, mistakes were made. Definitely made a mistake choosing that. Okay, so let's just go get some more resources since we can't do what we want to do. What I'm trying to do is get a bronze hick hammer. So that sharpening thing costs, like I said, $600. Then we need to make two of these on the processor, and I need to buy three more of those from him. At least I can do that. I can go buy three more of those and have those handy. Then I'll just need these two. Um, did I make my processor yet? Is the processor on here yet? I don't think I've made this yet. Let's get that going. Let's get that going. There's the brick. I need one more. I need some mechanical drags or whatever. Yeah. And I need three of these. Let's craft those. Alright, so we'll get the processor made so that we can make our um, copper screws or whatever you call them. Probably going to run through our uh, stamina regen stuff today. <laughs> I am such an impatient gamer. I never want to wait for things to run out in regular time. I'm always trying to. I could never play mobile games. The ones where they make you wait overnight sometimes for 
a process to be completed, I would never last. I wouldn't be able to. I'm one of those people who be trying to change the system clock <laughs> to make it be a different time. I can't do that with the one I have. And you can see, um, you see how the pick hammer here is blue? That means the pick hammer I have is strong enough to break that. You see how on this one the pick hammer is, I mean, the, the um, tools are red. That means that my tool is not strong enough to take that. So we'll go in here and see can we get some mechanical waste to make ourselves some old parts. Okay, we found a data disk so we can go to the research center and meet the guy who works in the research center. But first let's get ourselves some stamina. Okay. Equip your tool again. I got one swing out of all that. Okay, sand dates. That gave me 12. Okay. Oh, and I have some points to spend in Knowledge. Three. Wow. All right. One, two, and three. And we have how many? That's it. That was all. They were all in one category. Okay. I don't know what's in here. What is. What do the um, ends mean? Oh, I guess this is the first time I gotten that particular material. Yeah, I almost have enough to make one thing of water. That's always good. And this says new. Okay, so I have to go. This is the guy who runs the research center. I have to go and see him with my data disk. Need to get her uh, glass off the machine. I'm doing the processor. Oh, this awning is a new diagram. I don't see in the demo. I didn't find a use for it. Um possibly in game it, it has a, a use and I must have met somebody new I don't know who I met that was new I guess Burgess I guess this was the first time I talked to Burgess he must be the new person okay all right so what do we have can we do one more pile with this beef jerky how much does it give us six I'm gonna go to 42. See how that does. See if that's enough. I'm trying to save a little of my regen stuff. But I need this mechanical scrap. Okay, so that got us some more mechanical scrap. Let's go to our machines, see how much we can get done. See what we're missing from what we're working on. I need to go in my box too and see if there's anything else I can sell. Okay, so we've got two of seven glass. We need more glass. We can. Oh, that's right. We got to get that. I don't know um, if there's a way to change the order. I just don't know yet. But, um, you know, I have the blades that go on there. And I can't put the blades on. So that's kind of weird to me that I can't put the blades on until I... Um, I do the old parts. Let's see. Oh, I see. I see it now. You see how you can see through? You can see through it. See, that says old parts. So if I go over here slowly, grinding saws lights up. 
Okay, I'll get it. Hopefully I'll get it before the early release of the game. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get it by then. I only need one old part. I wish um, Hugo sold them. Hugo's the blacksmith. I wish he sold old parts. Alright, let's see. What else can I sell? I can sell this. Wait, let's sort all. Okay. Now, I can sell the milk. I can sell the fluorite. These are things that I never was able to use in the demo. They just didn't come up as um, something I needed. Oh, I can equip that now. I'm level 5. Alright, so let's see. Let's go into here and go into my character and click on accessories and put that on. All right, now let's go sell some more stuff. First, we'll see what Hugo will buy because he's the one. We need the bronze bars, we need three more bronze bars, and we need the um, sharpening stone from him. So let's see if he'll buy any of this stuff I want to sell. Mm, no. <laughs> I want to keep what he wants to buy. Because I need three more of these. So I'll go ahead and buy those. And this is only five sixty-two. If I could just get that in a commission... I just had something more valuable to sell. I didn't find very valuable items in the chest that I found. And I think I've gotten all of them. I think I remembered all the ones that I found last night. wasn't a lot inside the buildings. I visited everyone's homes. I was like a burglar. I was going in people's houses and stuff. I was. I was going everywhere. Everywhere. Trying to um, learn as much as I could about the town. more bait and it's funny everything that you um, sell becomes available in the store to buy so if I go back into the store all that stuff I just sold him is now for sale <laughs> so I guess in case you make a mistake of course there's a markup he's gonna charge more than I sold it to him for um, So what am I up to now? I need 562, 387. I don't even remember how much she's paying me for the glass. Let's go see how we're doing on that furnace. You can see me and she'll go and take that commission off the board. She's another Higgins. She may be have the cute overalls, but she doesn't have that cute personality. She is a go-getter. And she is the competition. Alright, did we get a... Nope, nothing off of this one yet. And that's not... It's not that stone scrap. This is mechanical scrap. I don't have... Um, this is what I need. Is that what I've got in? Yes, mechanical scrap. Alright, just gotta wait and see what it gives me. Got another copper bar. Okay, anything? Oh, I didn't go to the research center. Let me pop on over to the research center and meet their version of Petra. Not even close. <laughs> he is not even close. He is nothing like Petra. He is... Um, he's not like Merlin either, though. He's not like a Merlin. He's just not a Petra. 
<laughs> That's all I'll say about that. Okay, so those are my last little regions. I'll leave my data disk in my bar. Oh, got another one. So three more hours, but it'll be too late, I believe, to get um, to give that to her and then get a commission off the board for Hugo. Sigh. Really want that sharpening stone at the price that it's at. That's such a great savings. So even though this is a demo and it's not for very, you know, it's not a very long one, it seems like there was a chest up there. Did I already get it? I think I did. Um, the market fluctuated like way more I think than Porsche. No I didn't. There's still a it's still up there. Let's go get this chest. I thought I had gotten this one. Like I've played this so many times I don't, I can't remember anything. <laughs> it's all a blur. It's all a blur. But some of them actually give you gold. You know, they're not stuff you have to sell like I have to sell, sell this hemostat stuff but some of the chest had just gold in it that's what I'm looking for make sure I got all of those okay so let's go to the research center and meet key a new builder why wasn't I informed of this a data disk. Allow me to explain. Data disks are a type of storage medium made of multiple layers of polycarbonate. While many of them don't contain anything useful, some have troves of data on how the old world built their machines and structures. Now granted, we're not yet technically proficient enough to recreate exact replicas of these re relics, but with a builder's help, we can get pretty close. Data disks help me create diagrams for new machines, which you can construct on your assembly station. I keep a collection of diagrams, plus potential future plans, with me at all times, so if you need to build something that's not in your handbook, talk to me, bring me data disk, and I'll give you new diagrams. Simple enough. Come again when you have more data disks. Now that's another thing. His um, diagrams cost more than they did at the research center in Portia. Um, I think the two first diagrams you can get from him are like six disks each versus, you know, we only paid five for them to Petra, so they're a little more expensive because it's almost like you're paying him, not, um, you know, not a research center, actually. Okay, there's nothing. Oh, there is a um, cutscene down here, I think. If we go this way. I think that's what the blue circle. Oh, no, it must be inside the museum. Oh, no, here it is. Okay. So, you see, I have misplaced my sword and shield, but after some thinking, I realized that maybe it was all for the best. I don't really like hurting people anyway. Nonsense. There's no higher pursuit than perfecting combat. Besides, we need all the help we can get in our crusade for justice. You need training, Burgess. I insist. Um, well, I mean, if you really think it'll help everyone. Good man. Ah, and look who it is. Our resident builder, who no doubt can forge you a new set of weapons. Isn't that grand, Burgess? Uh, goody. Salutations, builder. I've been teaching Burgess the art of the blade. Pretty cool of me, huh? Anyway, he's lost his training sword and shield. I was wondering if you could build him a new set. That's easy for you, right? I'm going to say no. Isn't your only job in this town to build things for citizens like me? All right, Builder, let me know if you do end up having time. The reason I'm saying no is because I did it. I did that quest. And he finds his sword and his shield and you end up being stuck with the sword and shield after you've gone through the trouble of getting all these resources and um and I don't want it you know 
<laughs> I don't want the sword and shield. I prefer the daggers, which I will be able to make on my table for myself. And those would be, that's my chosen weapon. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to do that quest. Besides, um, Bird just doesn't want it. He doesn't want the sword and shield. He doesn't want to be a fighter. So hopefully that'll either time out or Mian will take it or something. I think I see another chest up there. How do I get up there? Let's see. I think I have to go around here. Go up these stairs. Then go up these stairs. Oh no, that's a um that's some kind of wiring or something. Thought that was the edge of a box. Alright. Just want to make sure I get all the ones that have gold in them. Because that is my um, preference. I like the ones with gold in them. And I went into the uh, dormitory. That's the church dormitory. And it's pretty, pretty nice for... Um, A dorm it's it's well appointed okay so let me just take one last look for chess then I need to get back to work nothing in the church the church is also pretty desolate they just you know you can just see that the town is just really down on its luck that it just doesn't have a lot to offer and um, everybody's just kind of doing the best they can and coasting by. And I can't imagine what that would be like to have sand come and cover everything every few, you know, every little while. And, oh, there's a chest. I don't think I knew about that one. Let's see how we get to that one. I'm not sure how to get to that one. Do I have to go all the way around here? And jump on that roof? Yeah, I think I do. Anything over here before I jump? Nope. Okay, so where was it? Okay, I think I want to jump here. Oh, wait, there's some dregs. Gotta get my dregs. They fuel my machines. Along with the water. There it is. All right. Yeah, I didn't see this one in my playthrough. What's in it? Oh, and it's one with gold. Isn't that perfect? That's just perfect. Okay, anything below me? Missing anything else? There's some dregs. Can't go in City Hall from up here. Oh, I forgot to go visit Owen. I just really want to um, accomplish one thing before I do the crane commission. I want to have a better tool. And they have a version of DD Stops. But there's something, I think they're called yak stops or something. Crazy yak carts. I haven't ridden one yet, but I, I know about them, but I haven't ridden one yet. All right, so now I've got my processor. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Perfect. Um, where shall we put it? put it over here. Oh, and we need some fuel in there. Hold on a second. I will feed you. Just a second. Here we go. That's why I pick up all the dregs. We're only going to put 15 because we need to feed the uh, processor. Ooh, I walked right through there. 
Okay, we'll put the rest in here. And we need screws. I know we need two. That's another thing. I don't make extras. Like, I used to set my machines to maximum. But because resources are extremely scarce, you don't do that here. You, you don't want to use up your water. You don't want to have machines running if you don't really need to. You don't want to um, burn up your dregs. You don't want to use up your dregs if you don't really need to. It's very very different than me like maxing out all my machines before I go to bed. <laughs> you just don't do that on um, on these machines because let's see how much water I have left. 7% which means I'm going to run out probably before everything finishes processing. Let's see if I have enough to make some water. I had gathered some dew, so let's see if I have enough dew. Oops. I'm mixing up my playthroughs in my other one. I have two storage boxes, one inside and one outside. I haven't gotten the second storage box in this one yet. All right, let's see. 17, yes, we can do, we can make some water. That's good. We need it. We need it. Okay, we can put these away. We're not going to use those right now. This is for my quest. We're going to sell these. Um, yeah, we're going to make some water. It takes a uh, tin to make one water. And that's still not a lot, but it's better than nothing. Let's see which one is water under. How close am I to this? I'm making those screws right now, so all I need is that sharpening stone, and I will have a bronze pick out. Pick hammer. That's such a weird. It's very hard for me to <laughs> call it that. But the um, daggers that I want to make are really easy to make thin thread and some cactus vines. So that's the weapon I choose and it's got pretty good damage and everything. As a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and make my two thin threads. Or I only need one. I'll go ahead and make my thin thread. And uh, have that ready so I can make those daggers. Tomorrow I will go and get um, some more of those cactus spines. All right, so we'll add the water we just made. So that'll keep us going until we can buy some water or until we can make some more. We are pretty close to another one. We have seven left. Yeah, so three more dues and we'll have another thing of water. Oh, and we have another point. We've earned another point. Let's see, it's in workshop. All right, so this one is 10% experience workshop knowledge. This one is max stat increase furniture. This one is workshop experience gained from items made on your machines. I think we'll start here with the basics. We'll use that point there. And, uh, yeah, I wish I had more jerky. That's plus six. Oh, again, I have forgotten Owen's invitation. But if I could just get this one more glass, I think I can do it. I think I can get this glass and go see Owen and be in the bed by midnight. It really cuts your day short. That just... Um... That's just something I would rather have control over versus it being a game mechanic that you have to be in bed by midnight. I thought 3 o'clock was a good time. <laughs> As you all know, I keep my poor character up till 3 a.m. in Porsche. 
let her fall over. All right, come on. Got things to do, places to go, and people to see. There we go. All right, so now I want to make some, if I can, can I make some brick? I can. Let me get some brick started because we're going to need them. All right, so we need brick for the uh, crane commission. Eight of them. I think I asked for ten, but that's okay. But we need eight of them. Then I need to go onto the processor and uh, change it to bearings after I finish getting that second copper screw. All right, let's go in here and give her her glass. She probably broke <laughs> some dishes or something. She's a little inept. There you go, sweetheart. Good stuff, Builder. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. All right. So that gave me almost 200 gold. Is Owen here? Oh, he's not here. He's usually sitting at a table. Oh, it's my fault. He invited me way earlier today, and I'm just now getting over here. Mason's usually hanging out up here. He's not. So yeah, I missed out on everybody. It's my my bad. So right, I finished that commission, which means I can get another one in the morning. And hopefully the market won't be outrageous tomorrow, and I'll be able to get my sharpening stone and upgrade my tool. Let's see if I can get in here. I can. But I don't think I can. He said um, I'll be able to take more commissions. Yeah. After my ranking gets up to a certain level, you'll be able to take more than one a day. I'm not there yet. <laughs> I'm not there yet. Okay. I understand. All right. Hopefully, Meanne doesn't take that one. So far, every time I've played through this, though, that one's always on the board. So, yeah. I guess I could go ahead and make it. I could go ahead and make the furnace. So, um, because I can't give him mine. Mine's going to be needed a lot. My brick probably won't even be done. Okay, so I've got my copper screws. Can I start some bearings? I don't have the material I need for bearings. Alright, so I'll have to go into the, uh, I can make a copper pipe. Those are, um, those come up a lot. Let's go ahead and make one. Yeah, we use those a lot. Our copper stick. Yeah, I'm going to need five of those for the crane. So, yeah. And, oh, I could do my thick ropes. That's then three. I need three. Okay. And... Yep, all I need is that sharpening stone. Okay, that's good news. Alright, what else do I need? I have one brick. I have bricks in the work. I need wooden sticks, copper sticks. I have one in the works. And bearings. Those are all out of my control. It's going to depend. Wait, I can do wooden sticks. Let's do... What did it say? Six? Five? Six? Let's see. Oh, five. Perfect. Okay, so the bricks are being made. Copper stick, I have one being made. And the bearings are going to depend on what I get as um, debris or whatever, trash. So, hmm. Hmm. All right, so I can make two of these grinding saws. She wanted nine of them. So that might be an alternative. 
commission to take they don't they're um those are pretty easy to come by I have nine of those it's the sand that I need to gather if I end up stuck with that commission instead of um, his commission so we'll see in the morning we're gonna go to bed early tonight can you believe it I'm going to bed early oh I'm making a copper pipe not a copper stick can I cancel that cancel all I don't want a copper pipe I want copper sticks Oops. I could have sworn I picked copper sticks. But apparently I didn't. Yeah, I want copper sticks, not copper pipes. Alright, so we're going to go to bed early. Unbelievable, I know. <laughs> Alright. 